Hey, good morning everybody. How you doing? It's Dave. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see and do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe. Now, have you guys ever, ever been told to do something and you're like, uh, I don't really want to do it. Like your wife tells you to clean up a certain area, certain container, and you know, you're just like, and the football game's starting now, it's football season, and you're like, okay, honey, sure, I'll do it. And then you find something that's totally, well, I think it's totally hysterical. Check this out. See it? Farts around the world. Here, check it all out. This sucker is a riot. It, I mean, a good friend of mine, or ours, Debbie and I, their son, Danny, gave me this book. I can't remember when he gave me this book, but this is how it starts off. I'm just gonna read a little, but then I'm gonna make some comments. You guys comment, think, tell me if you think it's accurate or not. Everybody poops, but first, everybody farts. Nearly seven billion farts are released around the world every minute. Indeed, flatulence is one of the great universal languages, which is not to say that farts are the same the world over. Farts are like snowflakes. Each one is unique. They come in different shapes, sizes, scents, and sensibilities. Every country has its own time-honored traditions for breaking wind, whether it's to express intimacy, anger, or unrestrained, unrestrained joy. Okay, you ready for this? Okay, France, the roar de l'amour. Ripum romanticus. Habitat, boudoirs, bistros, the boulevard, and Saint Germain. Here is France's fluctuant fart. All right, not too, not too crazy. Number two, Japan. The exploding brick. Forcus incredibulis. Incredibulis? Habitat, karate dojos. Here we go, Japan. Ooh, that sounded like the end hurt a little bit. Switzerland, the cloud splitter. Bumis grandius. Habitat, alpine ridges and chalets. This is Switzerland's. Ooh, let's hear that again. That's like a dual tone. Eh, Switzerland's. Classy fart you got working for you there. Now, I don't want to offend anybody, but this one happens to be Australia, Ryan, Tan, I don't know, it was on the list, I didn't pick it, but it's Australia. The th and guess what they call Australia, big shocker here. The Thunder Down Under. Homo Victori. Habitat, Canberra to Coolangatta, and everywhere in between is Australia. This is Australia's, listen. Well, not too shabby. I would expect more, but that'll work. Mexico. The name of their fart, the crowd goes wild. Kiss, kickus awesomeness. Habitat, stadiums, and sports bars. Here it goes, Mexico. I think that one would actually leave a mark, if you guys know what I mean. I'm sure you know what I mean. Listen, it sounds like it's going to leave a mark. And your ass may be burning at the same time. Okay, number six. We're almost at the light at the end of the tunnel. Russia, the northern light. Pro flatuenta, habitat Siberia. Now you guys, do you really think you could fart in Siberia? It would maybe freeze, wouldn't it? But this is supposedly the sound. Oh, it's like a whoosh. Maybe because your rectum is fro. Maybe because your ass is frozen and you, you really got no room to blow one out. England. Oh, mighty England. Let's see. HV4 Lee. We'll even throw this to Gemma. Oh, the proper English. They call theirs the bum tickler. Regalis maladoris. Oh, how quaint. 
Habitat, drawing rooms and headmaster's offices. This would be England. Oh, boot, boot. You can't even call that a fart, but it's so proper. Like the English, listen. Oh, bloody hell, I got a fart. And then, number eight, Thailand, the enlightened pass. Quietus mortem, habitat, ashrams, monasteries, and yoga studios. This better be quiet, you know what I mean? I don't know, you think that really goes on in monasteries that long? Oh, your ass would be burning on that one, I too. I think, too, you know? Okay, Texas, back in the good old USA, Texas. The Stampeder, Barbecuum, who makes this shit up? Grotescus, Habitat, Backyard Barbecues, and Tailgate Parties. This is the Texas Fart. And last but not least, number 10, Jamaica Mon. You know, we get us some ganja and we still fart. They call it the pressure drop. Get up us, stand up us, habitat, dance halls, and jam sessions. Here we go. Here's Jamaica. I want more. Okay, Jamaica is definitely leaving a mark and burning your ass at the same time. They got some other comments in here. I mean, it's a very interesting read, you know. Uh, hold on, let me just pick one. I don't want to bore you guys to death too much, but you know, they have, they have little comments, you know, little sections, comments. Hold on, let me, let me just find my friends from Australia. Come on guys, you'll appreciate this. In the wilds of the Australian outback, it takes both courage and sphincter control to survive close encounters with the native wildlife. The cunning outdoorsman will use the thunder down under as an intimidation tactic in times of peril, unleashing a terrifying blast that is accompanied by a distinct animal odor. The surprise attack scares away all predatory creatures, leaving the gas passer victorious and safe to fight another day. As the old Australian saying goes, it's the fart that makes the man, not the man who makes the fart. I didn't make it up. If you guys don't believe me, I'll show it to you in the book. So that's about it for today. Have a great day, great night. Whenever the hell you're watching this, be well, stay safe, and hopefully I get to see you all again real soon. Peace out.